To create our voice effect for the bartender, we're using a classic sound, and it's based on my love of 80s science fiction movies. So what we're going to do is drop the pitch of part of the voice and also add a reversed reverb sound to it. So what we're going to do is we're going to first come up to the bartender track and I'm going to come down and split this to mono tracks. And if you're ever recording and you already have a mono track, like a single mono track, you can simply go up to edit and duplicate that track. All right. So the next thing I want to do is I want to change the pitch of this bottom layer. So I'll go to Effect, come down to Change Pitch, and I'm doing about negative 26. So I'll click OK. So now if I solo this and play it. Hey Kemper, the usual. My, aren't we fierce. OK. And now the next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and reverse this. But before I do, if you notice, we all of a sudden have this little area of silence in the middle. So I'm going to go ahead and join this entire track here. Let's hold on my shift key and let's click and drag. And so all of that track is selected and I'll do a quick key to go ahead and join these. So do Command J. Okay. And so now that's one solid track. So now we'll go up to Effect and we're going to reverse this. So I'll come down and select Reverse. So if I play this now. Safe you not um Thank you. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and add a little bit of space at the beginning here. So I'm going to click right on the end and just a small portion here, not a lot, but I want to generate some silence. So go to generate, come down to silence and we'll click OK. And I'm going to hold down my shift key and make sure that all of that's selected. And we'll do Command J to make sure it's all joined. And now we've added a little bit of silence at the end there. And what we're going to do next is add reverb. So go to Effect, come down to Reverb. And I'm just using the default here. So I'll just click OK. So I'll go ahead and play this to hear it. Safe you not dumb. OK. And last but not least, we'll go and reverse this once more. So what the final affected layer sounds like. Hey, Kemper. The usual. My, aren't we fierce? All right. So we'll go ahead and solo the top track and play these together. Hey, Kemper. Hey, Kemper the, the usual. usual. My, My, aren't, aren't we, fierce? we fierce? All right. And it sounds like they're a little bit off time wise. So what I want to do is I'll go ahead and join these top tracks. I'll just go ahead and do Command-J and double click to select the entire track. And I want to scoot this forward just a little bit. Okay. And we'll play this once more. Hey, Kemper. The usual. My. Aren't we fierce? 
All right, and last thing, we'll go in and drop the volume of our effect track. I've got about negative nine right now, so we'll try that out. Hey, Camper, the usual. My, aren't we fierce? All right, so we'll bring that up a little bit. Let's try a negative three. Hey, Camper, the usual. My, aren't we fierce? All right. And the last thing I'll do is I'll go in at the very beginning here and make sure I add some silence because there seemed to be a space there. Hold down my shift key and make sure that silence is joined and we should be set. Hey, Camper, the usual. My, aren't we fierce? And that's how we created the vocal effect for the bartender. So it's basically duplicating your original track, dropping the pitch, reversing that, and then you're going to add reverb, and then you reverse it again. So your reverb is actually playing in reverse, and that's what's giving it that nice little ghostly effect. And of course, we're adding on to that a large pitch difference. Layering those together has a really nice quality to it and otherworldly.